Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again for yet another installment of my Marvel vs. Capcom series. I love those old video games. Marvel vs. Capcom, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, you name it, we got it. And we have a brand new Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 figure to check out, along with an old school-ish Marvel Legends, right? It's been sitting on my floor for a while. We need to open them up. And what better way to check out a mutant that goes exactly with this Street Fighter than Marvel's Apocalypse. Now, this is on the Marvel Legends Retro X-Men card backs, hailing to all those Toy Biz days gone by. Excellent work there. And some lovely artwork by artist David Nakayama with some ancient evil action, which is just perfect for old Apocalypse. Speaking of... Well, dang it all, he's got some X-Men, the animated series, 90s colors going on, and you knows, I loves that. On the backside, not a whole lot going on. A lot of words, we'll just say. Kind of has that Toy Biz throwback feel, of course. Kind of has a movie reference as well in the bio, but you get a nice photo of the apocalypse that we are about to enjoy. But, Marvel aside... We have a brand new Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Ultra, the final Challengers figure in the name of Ken Masters. And I want to say a special shout out to the folks over at Jada for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Now, the box is amazing. Old school arcade action on the backside. You get a nice photo of Ken Masters along with a vast roster of all the upcoming characters. Yes, there are quite a few a coming. And someone help me out. Who's the question mark guy? I thought it was Saget. But it's not. He's up there with the eye patch. So help me out. Is it Silver Surfer? <laughs> Here's the barcode. He is starting to hit Target store shelves now for those interested. But in the meantime, if you want to play along at home, out of Ken versus Apocalypse, who would you choose? Comment below right now before the video ends, and we'll see if you are right. Right? So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from Jada Toys, their Street Fighter II Ultra, the final challengers, Ken Masters, and the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men retro-carded Marvel's Apocalypse. Insert your quarters and press start now. So we'll kick things off with the Hasbro Marvel Legends Marvel's Apocalypse. You gotta say Marvel's before you say that because you could be talking about any apocalypse, right? He comes with two sets of hands. You got fisty hands and you got grabby hands and both of which are missing some blue like you see on the animated series. Now, he does come with this cannon. It's his arm, he can transmutate into various weapons for those of you that know Apocalypse. Very cool. And it's straight out of X-Men the Animated Series, which is also very cool. And for me, mind-blowing, because they don't do a whole heck of a lot of that. It is missing some paint. Let's be honest, little blues, little reds really would have sent this on its way. But I digress. I'm happy to see that. More of this and more paint, please. Now, it's very easy. You just simply unbuckle everything and you go ahead and slip this over the arm, plug him back in, and you got yourself a patented fancy smancy arm cannon. Now, what's any arm cannon without a bolt of energy? And we've seen these bolts of energy plenty of times with Marvel Legends releases, and that fits into the cannon up, down, wherever you want to put it. Totally cool. Now you do get these two mini blast effects. Blast effects we have seen before, but they do work with this figure, oddly enough, and those go into the mini cannons, of which you can get two little mini blasters amidst the two giant blasts. You can put them all in if you like, and boom, there you go. Nice cannon arm for Marvel's Apocalypse. Totally dig that, looks pretty cool. Now. He does come with an extra head portrait. This is his snarling face. Now keep in mind, a lot of this apocalypse is reuse with new parts and pieces to create this look for apocalypse. I don't mind because they actually did a fairly great job with it. But this face portrait, he has some things altered, some paint here and there to kind of make it work. But it does look cool because he looks mad as heck and you need an apocalypse looking like that. Speaking of which, apocalypse. Likes the purples, I likes the blues, and I like that more just grimmest head, right? You don't know what he's thinking, it's probably nothing good. But impressively, they have managed to capture X-Men the Animated Series' Apocalypse here. Now, there are a few grievances that I have, namely in the boots, 
will say it's not exactly right. It's pretty darn close, though, I have to say. For doing a reuse figure like we know with Marvel Legends, I'm actually pretty happy with this guy. He's a big old sucker of a Marvel's apocalypse, and I like all the tubes and everything else. Although, I will say, while they do plug in nicely and they really don't hinder anything, I wish they could have been just a tad softer. Just a tad, right? Just a little bit. That being said, when you want to move the arms, when you want to move the elbows and the wrists and everything else, no, there really isn't a problem with the tubes falling out. They are in there pretty snug. The big old shoulder pads will work with you. They're in there pretty dang snug. I totally dig that. And with his big old face inside his little face box armor right there, it's a bit of a rubberized piece. So even though you hit it up against the side walls, It'll work with you. You get plenty of movements out of the head. You could even get him looking all the way up or kind of doing the more brooding Batman apocalypse thing, right? If you want him looking down. He does have bicep swivel. He's got single jointed elbows, which I totally don't mind. You don't get that much movement out of the elbows because his big old gauntlets will get in the way and you got plenty of rotation in the hands. And like I said, he's missing some paint and go easy with the joint on the hands until you get it heated up a little bit. He has one heck of an ab crunch, Going forward, going backwards, I totally dig that. The big old A on his belt, that's a separate piece that you can kind of move around, but when you want to move him at the waist, that will kind of hinder that joint right there, so just keep that in mind. He can kick out for days. He can do the M appeal thing. He can twist at the thigh. He has double-jointed knees, which, fine, they don't look the best, of course, but at the same time... Apocalypse is really one of those characters that just kind of stands around. And his feet will go up, down, left, right, pivot. You get the idea. It's a pretty well-articulated Apocalypse for what Apocalypse really does. Now, over on the Jada Toys, Ken Masters Avenue. They did a great job. Although, keep in mind, Ken is basically a carbon copy with different colors of Ryu. And just to show you what I mean... They are basically the same figure. It's the same articulation. They've just swapped colors. They put a little bit more paint here and there, and then you have different head portraits. But yes, roughly, it is the same figure as Ryu, as is to Ken, but still makes for a great figure. Now, you do get the same type of hands that Ryu comes with. Again, just different paint. And he also has a separate head portrait, more of a, a smiling, smirking grin, like he knows he's gonna win this fight. And it does look really good on the figure. I think that out of the two head portraits, this one definitely does do it. Although when you get into a fight, you'll see what I mean, that head portrait works as well. Now, you do get the same sort of effect piece you can see the hands within the orb the fireball it has a stand which itself does have articulation and a nice platform you can get it going every which way you simply insert it into the fire effect piece and it's pretty darn sturdy although it can be a little bit top heavy for some of the joints in there it's a very specific angle but for the most part you'll be keeping it this way and it does look pretty good. Although with the articulation, sometimes that can be limited. You can't get it perfect, but in terms of photography, you can totally fudge it. Now, in terms of Ken Masters himself, like I said, basically Ryu with a red gi, black belt, it's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Looks pretty darn cool. Although the head portrait on this one is kind of eh, not really doing it for me. His hair is kind of lumpy. It makes his head kind of cone head shape, but nice texture in the gi, right? It's very rubberized. You get a lot of momentum out of this figure, especially in the upper diaphragm. And you can see the belts and everything else will work with you when you want to articulate on the head. You get plenty of articulation up, down, left, right looking in all the different directions. Plenty of articulation in the arms, the shoulders, the biceps, swivel, double jointed elbows, and you have some wrist rockers and whatnot. So you get plenty of rotation, including in the ab crunch. And like I said, his more gummy sort of gi will work with you and let him move him around and do whatever you want in terms of the articulation. Thigh, double jointed knees, and he's got some foot articulation as well. So if you just so happen to have a flight stand, you can put old Ken Masters in there and get him flying through the air, karate kicking any opponents in his way. So overall, in terms of the powers, the effects, just the articulation itself. Yes, it does make for an awesome Street Fighter 2 edition. And speaking of which, X-Men versus Street Fighter. Who did you vote for? It's going to be a battle for the centuries. I will tell you what. Spots, Apocalypse fires a bolt 
right at Ken's feet. He narrowly dodges it. But because of that flight stand, Ken can definitely jump up and kick Apocalypse right in the face. Apocalypse is down, or so Ken thought, because... Well, Apocalypse has got that growing ability, and he's going to smash Ken Masters right in the ground, crash upon his shores, and find out. God, I love that Apocalypse. So, if you are wondering, how does this new Ken Masters really stack up to the rest of the Jada Toys Street Fighter line? I think he looks great, and I think they've done a great job in terms of the colors, the articulation, the sheer scale of all the figures, the likeness to the characters themselves. They are really knocking it out of the park. I'm not really into the whole second player, evil Ryu, that kind of thing. It's not my bag. I'm going mainly for the characters I know and love, and so far, so great. And in terms of what's come before over this past holiday season, I actually found an old NECA Toys Street Fighter Ryu figure at the thrift store. You know, that was good for back in the day. (laughs) But I like what you're doing there, Jada Toys. We'll just say that. And on the flip side, for Apocalypse, if you really want to go the X-Men the Animated Series route, much like I will be doing, yes, all those characters really do match up nicely. From Cable to Wolverine to Rogue, whether or not there's cel-shaded comic book look, whatever you want to do, however you want to display it, he's nice and tall, he's purple and blue, And I totally dig it, especially when you want to recreate those crucial X-Men the Animated Series scenes. Yes, the Marvel Legends team definitely have reconstituted a previous apocalypse and have made him into something definitely worth it for your collection. So that'll wrap it up for my brand new installment of my Marvel vs. Capcom series, or you want to say X-Men vs. Street Fighter series, whatever. Marvel vs. Capcom, just keep it at that. Keep it nice and simple. Two Really cool figures. I will say this, though. In terms of Ken, I do wish they would have done a little bit more with him to kind of differentiate it a little bit more to Ryu. Yes, they nailed every aspect of the character, but perhaps a different looking energy effect. Something like that, just to kind of put a little bit more oomph in the box. Perhaps different hands, something like that. But in saying that, they did keep true to what Ken is as the character. Apocalypse very happy with. I think they did a great job in terms of reusing and then repurposing and adding new parts and pieces. Yes, I do love this Apocalypse, and I think he'll make a great addition to your X-Men collection. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel vs. Capcom. And again, thank you to my friends over at Jada Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. I doubt this will be the last X-Men video you'll see this week. Wink, wink. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.